Hey guys, it's Aditya here again for Tilted Technology, and here is my official dust tour for quarter two of 2013. Now, I didn't want to make it so soon, but I did change a lot of things around, uh, and so let's get started. Now, the first thing is I have switched my desk. Now, this desk over here was essentially my study desk. Uh, I had two desks in my room, but I unified them, and now I have just one. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what it's called, but I do know that I got it from Ikea a few years ago. Now, starting off here on the left, I do have my left channel speaker from my FND 2.1 audio system. Uh, I really do like these speakers and I will put a link for them in the description below if you guys are interested. Uh, right next to that, I do have my white factory unlocked iPhone 4 16GB uh, uh, with the green bricks and color shield on it, uh, as well as a green Apple bumper case sitting on a blue lounge Milo stand. Right next to that, underneath my Steve Jobs photograph, uh, I do have my monitor of choice. Now this is the Dell ST22 um, HD monitor. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080p with almost minimal lag. Uh, it works great as a everyday day-to-day -day monitor. Uh, it's crisp and clear and also works great for gaming with my PlayStation 3. Now right underneath that, I do have my 7-port powered USB hub. This is a USB hub by Belkin. Uh, and connected to it, I do have my Apple wired keyboard. Uh, now I will let you guys know why I don't have the wireless keyboard in just a minute. Anyway, uh, again, here's my wired Apple keyboard. Uh, this is the 2009 or 2010 one, I believe, uh, the one that used to come with the 21.5 inch iMac uh, back in the day. Uh, now, I use two mice. Uh, my primary mouse of choice is the Logitech Performance MX mouse. It's a very ergonomic mouse and has lots of multiple functions that you can use every single day. Uh, next to that, I also do have my Apple Magic mouse, which I basically use whenever my um, Performance MX is out of battery. Both of them are sitting upon the Ozone Ground Level S gaming mouse pad. Now right next to my monitor, I do have my little Android figurine here. Doesn't do much, but it looks pretty cool on my desk. Now right next to that, I do have my little alarm clock. Um, basically, my alarm is never on, but I like to look at an analog clock for telling the time all the time. Uh, right next to that, I do have my 13.3 inch MacBook Air. Uh, this is the late 2011 MacBook Air, uh, and it does have a 1.7 gigahertz processor, uh, Core i5, uh, and four gigabytes of RAM, as well as a 128 gigabyte solid state drive. Uh, now the computer is sitting upon a Griffin Elevator laptop stand, which I did get fairly recently. Uh, and right underneath that, I do have the Apple wireless keyboard that I was talking about earlier. Uh, now this has stopped working for some reason, and I will be taking it to the Apple store in the next day or so to see what's wrong, uh, and maybe pick up a new keyboard. Uh, now right here is the drawer uh, for my desk. Uh, it is basically filled with uh, just a whole lot of crap basically. I have a few SD cards, some batteries, some tape, my clip image S3s, uh, my Zoom H1, my wallet, uh, the back of an app store card, uh, a tech deck that I haven't opened yet, an Apple Mighty Mouse, uh, some USB extenders, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. I also do have my 50mm f1.8 Nikon uh, Nikkor lens in there. Uh, now, right underneath that, I do have this shelf here, uh, which does have the six and a half inch side firing subwoofer, uh, my laptop sleeve next to it, uh, my PlayStation 3 controller, as well as my internet modem and our house landline phone. Uh, no one really uses the landline phone, it kind of just sits there because it's connected up through the modem uh, because I do have a cable connection. Right behind that, I also do have my Belkin wireless router at the back. Um, even though the modem is a wireless router, it isn't that great. Now, right under Underneath that, I do have my PlayStation 3. Uh, this is the second iteration of it. I believe it doesn't have the card readers. It has only two USB ports. Uh, it did come with an 80 gigabyte hard drive, which I uh, upgraded myself to a 256 gigabyte drive. Anyway guys, that about concludes this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and for more content, reviews, etc., please do remember to subscribe.